For the longest time, my favorite focal length for any lens has been a 35. This lens has changed that. Before we talk about anything else, we need to give Irix a round of applause. Why you ask? Because they are one of the few companies who actually listens to their customers. This is the old lens cap that all their lenses came with. Squeeze, put it on, and it doesn't even really, but that's not even the issue. It's rounded, this little fun game of just rolling around and no one wants that with their expensive lenses. So all new Irix lenses come with these amazing new lens caps, which just simply slide on. They're on there very nice and snug and they're flat. So now you can nicely put your lens top down. Also a nice touch. They have the actual focal length. Obviously this isn't the right lens cap for this because I'm using the 21. They also recently came out with a 30 millimeter, which I'm going to be releasing a video on soon after this one. And then I'm finally going to do an entire lens set video where we're going to compare my 15, 21, 30, 45, and 150 to see how the entire lineup works together because that is incredibly important if you're trying to build a lens set that they all don't look crazy different. And so I'm excited for those tests. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on either of those videos and plenty more. Lenses that are in like the lower 20 millimeter range, I always thought was such a weird focal length. Anytime someone in the past would tell me, oh, they love their 26, 24, whatever. I'd be like, it feels like you're, you're not picking a side, like either go like 15 and go wide angle or go 30 or 40 or whatever up and go portrait lens. But 21, especially when you are using a super 35 sensor like all my black magic cameras, it is just a dream. In case you haven't noticed, this video is a little tighter than normal because of course I'm using the 21 millimeter to film this whole thing. It feels so much more of a portrait lens than the 15, but it's still wide enough that you get some of the scene. You know, you see the picture, you see the computer monitor, like it's not cutting any of that off. The 45 would be pretty much just tight on my face. Now, before we get back to the look and the vibe and all that stuff, let's talk about the actual specifications and build quality of this lens. Many a times I've used Sigma Cine lenses and they are good lenses, no doubt. But have you seen the prices on those? Here's what you get for your money with pretty much all Irix Cine lenses. Full frame coverage, they advertise up to, you know, fully sharp in 8K, but I've used all my lenses on the Ursa 12K and looked fantastic. Solid metal, that is both a pro and a con we'll get to later. These lenses are absolute tanks. The 21 mil is no exception, but they designed them all within the same relative amount of weight and all of the rings are lined up exactly the same across the lenses. So this means when I throw it on my RS3 Pro gimbal, I can lens swap without ever having to change the focus motor around or even balancing it. I just have to tweak uh, the camera forward and back a little bit depending on the lens I'm using. All their lenses are weather sealed. So yes, when I'm out in the rain or the snow, I do worry a little bit for my camera because Blackmagic cameras certainly aren't weather sealed, but I'm absolutely not worried about my lens. It is not waterproof, do not submerge it. All of the markings on it are UV reactive. So if you're shooting in low light environments, you can still somewhat see all of the markings in the dark. Of course, you have internal focusing. So that way, when you do change the focus, you're not actually shifting the weight around, causing gimbals or steady cams to go off balance. And one of my favorite specs that I didn't even realize when I got the 45 first years ago, focus breathing. Look at the difference between this Irix lens and kind of a cheap Canon 18 to 135 lens. Do you see how much the composition is actually shifting? I'm not changing the focal length. I'm simply just adjusting the focus. For the price point, for this lens to essentially have no lens breathing is a huge plus in my book. So let's talk about the Irix look. Every lens has a different type of look and every time you go to buy a lens, you are supposed to buy it with an intended look in mind. The reason that I pick Irix as as the lens set that I own, because this lens offers a very sharp, modern, clean look to it. <laughs> the lens flares look really nice to me. They're nothing over dramatic. And it just seems no matter what camera I attach these to, whether it's my, you know, 
Canon EOS R or if I'm renting a RED camera or Ursa 12K. I just know I'm going to get a very pleasing image that I then can decide and post if I wanna sharpen it up even more, add some more vibrancy and make it ultra modern, like clean aesthetic, or if I wanna add some character in post, I can dirty it up a bit. As soon as it arrived a couple weeks ago and I threw it on my camera, I instantly was in love. I shot in optimal light. I shot in not optimal lighting, both low light as well as disgusting, ugly, fluorescent, mixed lighting. Just every scenario, this lens just, mm. It just works. Now, another great thing about this lens is of course, when it's purple, you know what that means. This video is sponsored by Detail. Detail is the best M1 optimized Mac application to connect all of your iOS devices to give you a multicam experience unlike any other. Launch the Mac application, connect the companion apps from your favorite iPhones, iPads, use the internal webcams, connect third-party webcams, heck, plug in your 21 millimeter Iric Cine lens connected to your cinema camera into your Mac, and you will have the most professional looking multi-cam setup you could ever want. Whether you are into podcasting, gaming, streaming, if you want to up your engagement, add multiple angles to your videos, don't take hours and tons of money to do it. With so many new features coming all the time, make sure you check out the link in the description to learn more. Thanks Detail for sponsoring today's video. Okay, the purple's gone. We made the detail gods happy. I love you. But of course, everyone wants to know what are the negatives? What are the reasons not to buy this lens? Probably the biggest con I would expect people to say is the weight. If this is your first venture into like higher budget lenses and you're coming from kit lenses, something on the lower budget or maybe something that's fully made out of carbon fiber, it's heavy solid metal, what do you expect? But I still get this entire camera package balanced on my RS3 Pro without pretty much any issue. A unique thing to the 21 is the front lens hood design. Even on the wider 15 here, you can see that the front is completely a circle. There's no crazy design to it. The 21 has a more traditional like flower petal lens hood design to it. And that is built into the lens. You can't take that off. So it doesn't look like you're going to be able to attach any uh, screw on filters on this lens, which could be a con for many. I even have Irix's own filter case that comes in the Cine set. So you take just this CPL filter right here and it just magnetizes, which is freaking awesome. Don't have to screw anything on. But on the 21, yeah, um, no, no worky. I'll be honest with built-in NDs, I don't really use screw-on filters anymore, so that's not a problem for me, but something to think about. Know that at 1.5, your image is going to look the softest. It's still good, don't get me wrong. I shot a lot of this, especially basically all light, low light footage at T1.5, but in my opinion, in years of use with all the Irix lenses, it gets its sharpest at T4. That's what I shoot all of my YouTube videos on. What you are looking at right now is T4. But if I'm in low light or I wanna get kind of a little bit more artistic look to it, then absolutely open it up to 1.5 and it's still gonna look great. Just depends on the situation you're in. In summary, the 21 millimeter is by far my favorite addition to the Irix Cine lens lineup. For every con, I can easily say, well, look at the price. And compared to the competitors, it's just like nothing touches it in my book. You get so much value for the money, it's ridiculous. If you want a fantastic portrait lens that's gonna give you no distortion, going to give you that like intimate portrait separation feeling, while also including a good amount of the background and the atmosphere of wherever you are shooting, the 21 millimeter is just the best option, I think. If you enjoyed this video, and again, you wanna see my thoughts on the 30 millimeter lens that just came out, make sure you get subscribed because that video is coming super soon. Thanks again to Detail for sponsoring today's video. See you guys in the next one.